Well, good afternoon. We're here live again for the Christian novella here at my father's house, Las Vegas Facebook. Uh, novella is a soap opera, but you will be washed by the word of God. And so you can also go to mfhlv.com. That is our website. And over there, you can get resources for free that you can download. You can download scriptures, teachings, you can listen to them online and they will just help fill your mind. What well, your mind is not a garbage can. So it will help fill your mind or you can go to my father's house, Las Vegas Facebook, which is what you are on right now. And you can press the shop now button and right there you can donate to the ministry because we're doing a mighty work here for the Lord. So get ready. We are now going into we're going to welcome the pastors as they bring the word of God. Goodness. Ugh. You're scratching your head and grabbing your brain. <laughs> I, wish I, could, I wish I could grab my brain. I wish I could take it out and, and wash and just wash it right now. You know, I, I get these thoughts. You ever had a song hit come in your head and it won't leave? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like I get these thoughts that they're not good thoughts. I mean, I, I literally feel like my mind is a tree. A trash can that the devil can throw whatever he thinks into my mind. Well, he throws his trash into your in the, in the, in the mind. mind. And like this is a can or something for him. <laughs> and I'm tired of it. God knew this would happen to you. Wow. So way ahead of time, he had the answer before the problem existed. That's one thing I know about God. No matter what sick circumstances come your way, bad circumstances, whatever the devil or a person might throw your way to mess you up, God's answer existed before the problem. Okay. That is like having knowledge that something is going to happen before it happens, so you're able to what? Prevent it or stop it or... Kill it. Kill it. Good. I'd like to kill it. Kill it. <laughs> Here we go. Empty the trash can. Yeah, yeah. So, it's like your mind is a blackboard, and the devil just writes whatever he wants on it. It yeah. seems. And you try to... Here we go. Are you ready? All right. I'd like to introduce you to God's supernatural eraser. This eraser is very powerful. See, it can erase the past. Oh, that's powerful. If you can erase the past, that would, hurt. That would help a lot. It can erase the now. And it can erase your old destiny into the future. Oh, wow. I was wondering about the future. So now that we've gone through erasing we have to write something in its place or reprogram. Got it? Okay. Because we're not going to leave it void. void. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we talked about last time. We don't want that. No. Void. No, empty. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't want that. We don't want garbage either. That's right. So here we go. Are you ready? Sure. This is a big eraser. Now, I was wondering, how, how does it get erased? How much more? more how much how much more how much how much more how much say more <laughs> more <laughs> more that's what i mean how much got it more okay all right is this then what is trying to turn your mind into a garbage can this is more. It's much more. It squeezes it out, takes it out, erases it. Watch. Well, that's good. I like that. Yeah. How much more shall? Not maybe. Right. How much shall? The blood of Jesus. I knew it was going to be the blood of Jesus. That's awesome. So now we have the blood. He shed his blood for you and me. Right. To erase 
even your old bad nature. It's a powerful eraser. So there's the blood. Here comes the enforcer. Okay. Amen. All right, amen. Who through the eternal spirit. Oh my gosh, this, wow. Offered himself. I call the Holy Spirit. Uh, I heard this song done by an old rock and roll band, Christian rock and roll band. And in that song, he's called the love enforcer. I know that song. The enforcer. The love enforcer. In motorcycle gangs, you have the sergeant at arms, the enforcer. I get the picture. The big guy. Yes. How much more shall the blood of Jesus, who through the eternal spirit, the enforcer, he enforces it? Notice it's called the eternal spirit. That's a long time. He'll in, he is the enforcer forever. I'll try to fit eternity into something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's amazing. How much more? How through the eternal spirit, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot. He'll erase every spot. Why? Because he didn't have a spot. Yeah, there's no garbage or no trash there. Yeah. To God. Wow. So he offered himself to God as the spot remover. Oh my goodness. A spot. Can, can you imagine having a material that you could not put a spot on? Here, I take ink. Doesn't work. No, I don't think there is a material you can't mess up. I'm telling you. You try to, uh, this is powerful. Yes, it is. This is Jesus, his blood. Now, purge your conscience. When we use the word conscience, we're talking about the subconscious. Oh, that's right. Way deep in there. The things you don't know that you know. That is where the seed is planted. Yeah, got it. Well, you can't see the roots. You don't know that stuff. Mm -hmm. Purge your conscience from dead works. The same old thoughts. To serve the living God. Oh. So when God. all of that is wiped away, now you're ready to serve God. God. Because now God is going to write whatever he wants. Write whatever you want. <laughs> Amen. Write whatever you want here. So we're That's talking awesome. about the blood yes. of Jesus. Wow. The blood of Jesus represents the life. In Leviticus chapter 17, this is how God looks at the blood. And it's the truth, by the way. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it for you and to you upon the altar. That sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So our next, our next step, okay, which we're going to continue, on our next broadcast, okay, is I'm telling you the dessert for what you just learned. Because there's more, <laughs> much more. How much? How much more? Amen. I like that. So your mind is not a. Not a trash can. Trash can. Top of the devil to throw whatever he wants. And he's not going to write your past over and over. He, he's not going to do that. And he's not going to write your future. Right. But we have to remember about those bad thoughts is this. Is if he can write the past, he controls the now. And he has a different destination for you in the future than what God does. Right. But God has erased all of that. And he has a new destination for you in the future with him. I like the fact that it's eternity and eternity.
try to fill up a brain or try to fill up a container and it, it pushes whatever's in there out because it's it'll never stop. It's eternity. Yeah. It's eternal spirit. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'll take it yeah. right now. <laughs> so that's good. The love enforcer. The love enforcer. Because it's not by might nor by power, but my spirit, says the Lord. The love enforcer. The Holy Spirit enforces the love that God has for you, God the Father. How much does he love you? Out of all the names he could have chosen, he said, I want them to know me as Father God. That's a, that's a close name. That is not a name that pushes you off. That is a name that grabs you and it brings you into his family. Even his name. And you know who enforces that love? So you can call him Father? The love enforcer, the, the Holy Spirit. Enforcer. The Bible says that the love of God is shed upon our hearts. And therefore we cry out, Abba, Father. You know what that means? Daddy God. May the Holy Spirit haunt you with his peace. Hallelujah. Don't you let anything stop you from receiving and growing in the love of God. God bless you.